Inmates at the Oregon Youth Authority took over the uh, part of the facility last night, resulting in a standoff with police. We're joined by News 10's Molly Trotter with more on what all happened. She's live out there at the youth facility in this morning's top story at 6.30. Winnie, that's right. I'm out here inside the parking lot, and just hours ago, it looked like a completely different story, starting at 8 o'clock last night, and we're still learning more information on just what happened and how it happened here at the Oregon Youth Authority, but we do know that um, they've been here. They were here earlier this morning and wrapped things up. There was a, um, a lot of law enforcement here, including two SWAT teams, Grants Pass Police, even fire trucks came on scene, trying to regain control, and that's exactly what they did. Um, Grants Pass Public Safety was also here, and they said by the end of the night, everybody in the Youth Authority and everybody else was safe. Safety and security of the youth in custody, in our care, our staff on site is of utmost priority. OYA cannot confirm if any hostages were taken during the situation, and we still don't know if this was considered a right situation. The facility can hold up to 100 um, inmates, but only have 90 in here at the time, at the time of the incident last night, and some of them are even as old as the age of 24. And again, they're not saying if there was anybody injured or anybody who's taken hostage during the situation, but they do know everything is back to normal and everybody is safe. But we'll have some more information coming up for you just about this building and who occupies it and what kind of inmates come here. So we'll have that coming up in just a little bit. Thank you so much, Molly. And we'll continue to post updates on this story and investigation. Just go to our website. That's KTVL.com.